This lesson is all about adding code to the Howdy Window program of the previous lesson to make it possible to close the window with a mouse. The new version of the class is named Howdy by Window, so its source code must be stored in a file by the same name. Starting at the top, two new import statements have been added. Outside information comes into the program in the form of events and we want to be able to receive the event of the user requesting that the window be closed. The call to the method enable events turns on the window events so they will reach the program. The events arrive in the form of a window event object. The method process window event is called by the system with the window event object. The window event object is sent for several different reasons. Your program is notified when the window is maximized, minimized, or one of several other things that can be done to the window. This method only responds if the event is the window closing event. That's checked here. The window closing event is checked against the ID of the event coming in as an argument. The window closing event is delivered when the user attempts to close the window from the window system menu or from the button in the upper right corner. No change has occurred, nor will it occur, with the window. If this program does not explicitly hide or dispose of the window while the processing of the event, the window close operation will never take place. This program, after verifying that it's a window closing event, calls system exit to shut down the program, which also has the effect of closing the window. In a larger program, this method would prompt the user for an option of saving data before closing, or even ask the famous are you sure question before actually doing anything. Let's see if this works. To do so, the first thing we need to do is compile the program. Then we run the program like this. And the window appears. We can move it and resize it just as we could before. We have two ways of shutting the program down with a mouse. One is to select the system menu on the left, where we can do several different things, one of which is to close the window. Another option, and a more common option, is to use the button in the upper right hand corner. By selecting this button, the program ends. An event was sent to the program, and the program responded by calling system exit and shut down the program and the window. In later lessons, we'll take a look at shutting down a program from a menu selection and from an exit button. The code to shut down the program is always the same, but the event that comes into the program from outside can be different. In every case, your program is given the opportunity to clean things up before exiting or to ignore the exit command altogether.